What's up guys, it makes me vibes here. As so Illuminati would say, I hope you've been taking care of yourself. I just hope that this time you have been putting the same energy that you give others, I hope that you've been giving it to yourself. There is so much destruction and so much distraction from you in today's world that you can't put that same attention towards yourself. Right now, every single day, we look on the media and what do we see? Shootings, this happened, this happened. Even go back to the Will Smith slap. There are so many things that happen that have nothing to do with us. And, and, and listen, just hear me out. Yes, of course I feel a deep sense of aggrievedness for the families and the children everything that just happened with the kids, you know, Texas, here in Texas. And it is a tragedy, along with what happened in New York, different things. It, yes, those are very bad, but you have to understand the media is manipulating you right now. They're, they're creating these headlines, they're clipping this, trying to get a response out of you. That's all I'm saying. I want you to, the same attention that you, you give that story, those stories, right? You go and talk to your coworkers about it, you talk to your parents, your family, your friends about it, like, Put that same attention towards yourself. All the entertainment as far as celebrities and all that, all that, put that to yourself. So you can become a better version of yourself. If you're given, if you have a, a piece of a pie and you're giving out slices and slices, eventually you're going to run out. Because fear mongering, which is what they do, is currency. It's currency and we are paying. We are the price. We are. Don't you, don't you see what they're doing? They're manipulating us. They are. And I want you to wake up. I want you to wake, literally wake up. Because nobody can, nobody can do the things that you do but you. Like, the universe needs you. You know, I want to encourage you as well. Like, like we need you as a society. Like, your talents, your gifts, we need them. And I want your mental health to be number one above all because you came into this world alone, you're gonna die by yourself. Um, not to be pessimistic, nihilistic, but you're by yourself. You might have uh, be in a relationship, even a marriage, but you're by yourself. So I want you to focus on yourself, even if your partner or whoever is so heavily involved in it, I want you to kind of separate yourself. Take a step back. I see on social media right now so many people crying, and I understand it's okay. again, it's okay to grieve, but it's not necessary to put it online. They want our attention. Our attention again is currency. They feed off of it. They they want it because the more time that we can spend clicking on the websites, the articles, getting worried, doing this, tweeting about it the more energy we put toward it and the more that keeps manifesting. Think about it, right? It's where you it, you have to be careful what you consume through the mouth, through the ear gate, and through the eye gate. Ear gate and through the eye gate. You have to be careful of what you consume because so much negativity flowing inside of you, you can start to become a hateful person. You can start to let it affect you negatively. And you start to move in a very low vibrational state. A lot of people around here are low vibrational because they they have stepped into the matrix. They have went along with the program and they don't ever stop and ask themselves, like, wait, I am in a simulation right now because we're all some characters. We get to choose our own this, our own that, our own career, where we eat, where we sit, where we live at, where we travel, where we eat. We're Sims. We're Sims character because we get to choose where we eat, where we stay, where we live, where we go to, what we do. I'm lucky enough that, you know, when I started my spiritual journey, I did have a couple of people who are already on theirs. And so they were able to, you know, kind of guide me in a way. And, you know, throughout the years I've been meeting different people, but what you're gonna have to do, and it's a hard truth, you're gonna have to separate yourself from those people and you're gonna have to walk the spiritual journey alone. You might not want to, but we all do. Even when I started out, I was alone. It wasn't until I kind of gave up, like, hey, this is how I'm feeling. And then they kind of like, oh, well, we felt this way too. But at the beginning, it was by myself. You know, it was researching these things. It was 
you know, going plant-based because I see the things that they put in our food. It was listening to more music. It was reading more. It was seeing how the program kept us in bondage or in our minds, right? And when you walk it alone, you'll get more spiritually in tune with yourself, with your higher self, right? And your conscience will expand. Like so my friends a couple weeks ago, we were talking about um, the Draconians, right? We were talking about aliens and the Anunnaki um, and the fallen angels and giants. And we were talking about our past lives and different things, right? But we can talk about those things and it's not like a, this dude is weird, you know? Or what is she talking about, right? Like, this is so perfect, right? Because we understand. It's going to be lonely, but it's going to be so rewarding knowing that you're able to be aware now, not just aware of your person, but aware of the spiritual world. And you'll find like minded individuals to connect with. But I think that, you know, when you get to that Zen mode, you know, what I mean, your consciousness expands, you really get to that God state. Right. That God state is like up here. It's like enlighten me. Right. Um, in a sense. But how can we how can we even sit alone for five minutes and meditate when there's so many distractions around us? We always go, 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 go here, go here, go here, go. We don't stop and sit, we don't contemplate, we don't think, we don't be introspective. Because we don't have time for that. All right? Think about that. 24 hours a day, we don't have time. We don't have five minutes. Five minutes. Now we have five minutes to go do other stuff, but we don't have five minutes to work on our goals. I'm finna go in right now. <laughs> the reason that you haven't finished that book and it's been two years, the reason why you haven't lost 25 pounds, actually you've gained 15 pounds, the reason why you haven't achieved your goals, the reason why you haven't done what you did is because of you. I, again, you might not like that answer, but it's the truth. We are in control of our reality. We think we're not. We think that... Um, you know, God is in the sky. We have to look up for our help. God is within us. Hence, we are his children. We are made in his His image. That God state, that, that, that all-knowing consciousness, right? Which is your higher self, right? When you get to your higher self, you get to that higher God's consciousness, right? Because God encapsulates all, all consciousness at once, all perspectives at once. That's what God is. Okay, I'm going to leave my email down below for you. If you want to talk about anything, I'm really open-minded. I will talk to you about anything because your mental health means the most to me. It does. Like Your mental health means a lot. It means you being okay. And I think especially in the black community, it's not talked about enough. Like I have two friends right now who are in therapy. I'm thinking about doing therapy myself. Um, because I think we all need it. And I think ever since COVID, we've been affected mentally. Uh, not just a spiritual warfare, but we've been attacked mentally and it's through a lot of people like energy out of balance, out of alignment. And so a lot of people are going to need therapy, you know, to, to rebalance um, your chakras, your energy centers and, and to, you know, restore that balance so you can feel better again. OK. And again, I'll put my email down below. Message me. It's free. I'm not charging anything. I really just want to talk to you and see where your head is at, you know. Um, see how you feel and make sure you're okay. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far, I really appreciate you. I appreciate every one of you guys. And I want us all to take W's. I want all our businesses to flourish. I want all us to be the best versions of ourselves because we deserve it. We deserve it. You have to understand that it's a big game. It's a big game. And at the end of the day, the only way to not lose the game is to not play. I'm going to say that again. The only way to beat the game is to not play the game. Therefore, you win the game. And when I say that, I don't mean don't play the game as in don't be on this earth. Don't be, you know, a human being. What I'm saying is don't play their game, right? Don't play their game. Because when you don't play their game, man, it eats them up inside that you won, that you didn't tie into the program and that you thought for yourself. You didn't let other people speak for you. You didn't let what society deem is right. You, you, you ran to the beat of your own drum. You know, you figured it out for yourself. 
You know what I mean? Like, doesn't that feel great? It does feel great. 